although Manhattan is a natural island, Central Park is not. It was engineered by man. Not a single tree or blade of grass grows there naturally. Landscape architecture combines engineering, art, and nature, and it was two architects who built New York City's world-famous Central Park 165 years ago. In 2023, Central Park was the most visited city park in the world with 42 million annual visitors. But let's start at the very beginning. In the 1840s, as New York City grew rapidly, German and Irish immigrants faced hostility. Wealthy residents created private parks like St. John's and Gramercy Park, excluding immigrants and others. Social reformers saw that this was against American values and pushed for a public park to unite people. Landscape architects Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Box's Greensward Plan was selected out of 33 proposals in a public competition. Olmsted saw Central Park as more than just a picnic spot. He envisioned the park as the very lungs of New York City, inspired by the loss of his first child to cholera. A plot of 843 acres of Manhattan land was chosen to be the site of Central Park, which presented many challenges. The area was rocky, swampy, and required extensive draining and blasting of bedrock while using more gunpowder than the Battle of Gettysburg. Also, the landscape along what is now the park's perimeter from West 82nd to West 89th Street was the site of Seneca Village, a thriving community of predominantly African-American property owners with about 225 residents. Two-thirds were free black families, one-third Irish immigrants, and a small portion of the population was of German descent. There were over 50 homes, three churches, and a school there. Despite New York State's abolition of slavery in 1827, discrimination was still prevalent throughout New York City, severely limiting the lives of African Americans. Before construction of Central Park began, roughly 1,600 residents of Seneca Village were forcibly evicted through eminent domain in 1857. The social and economic instability that displaced residents faced shattered the tight-knit community, forcing them to scatter among the other boroughs. Olmsted and Box soldiered on, facing many other challenges, including political opposition, financial restraints, and enormous engineering difficulties transforming the rugged land into a natural oasis. Over 10 million cartloads of soil and materials were transported to the site of Central Park, and more than 4 million trees, shrubs, and plants were imported. Artificial ponds and lakes were created, 36 bridges and arches were engineered to separate pedestrian and automotive traffic. Reservoirs and a sophisticated drainage system was built to help manage water flow and prevent flooding. It took tens of thousands of laborers, most of whom were Irish and German immigrants, to construct Central Park. The park opened in 1858. Today, while Central Park can't cure cholera, the park's 39 million square feet act as the city's green lung. Over 25,000 trees provide oxygen, filter pollutants, and help cool the city by reducing the heat island effect, expanding over decades to include sports fields, a carousel, skating rinks, a zoo, gardens, monuments, and entertainment venues. As people from all backgrounds, races, creeds, and colors enjoy Central Park harmoniously, let us not forget a history as American as Lady Liberty herself. If you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.